an object is moved away from the optical center of a convex lens uh, along its axis, not along its axis, along its axis, which one of the following graphs best represents the variation of magnetic uh, magnification m with the object distance u. So uh, there are two graphs. There has to be two graphs because when you take the object distance from zero to f. It's a virtual image that you get, and when you take your object from f to infinity, it's a real image that you get. So there are two magnifications, two magnifications. So the first one for the uh, real, uh, the, for the virtual one, we have an equation for the magnification, which is m is equal to one plus d over plus d over we have proved this equation you, you must know that we have proved this equation but this equation does not show us how it varies with the object distance it doesn't show us that how it varies with the object distance there's no variation of that with the object distance so it doesn't show us any of it therefore Therefore, it's uh, a bit difficult to use these equations because it's not the same magnification. It changes, right? It changes. So, right. In order to do that, I'm going to draw a ray diagram to get an idea about the magnification. So what can I say about the magnification? When it's at infinity, uh, when it's at f, the image is at infinity. Here, the magnification is, you can say it's the image height, capital H over object height. When the distance is zero, image and the object are the same. When the distance is f, image height is infinite and the object height is the same object height so the magnification becomes infinite so from this you can see from this you can see that the answer for the first part is either this this or this so none of these are the answers because when it's f the magnification is the highest Okay. Then again, when you bring the uh, bring your object from f to infinity, you have to see what is going to happen. That I'm going to draw on another sheet. Right. So here you can see when you uh, increase the object distance, right? The image size is going to diminish so when the object is at f the image will be at infinity and it's a very big image and when you bring your object from f to infinity the object uh, the image comes from infinity to f you bring your object from f to infinity so the image comes from infinity to f so image becomes smaller higher the object distance image becomes smaller so the magnification becomes lesser so you need to know this to figure out the answer right figuring out needs this right so this is a wrong answer this is a wrong answer and what is going to be the correct answer when object distances are infinity image this image size is very small magnification is very small so which one shows that is not this not this but this <laughs>